Hey there everyone, Cameron here, back with another video. Now today, as you can see behind me, we have some packages. Now, I'm uploading this video at pretty much 11 o'clock or close to 12 at night, but that's because I didn't have time to upload earlier, and also because who wants to, because it's winter break. Who wants to go to sleep at like 9.30 or whatever time if it's winter break? So I just thought that was kind of stupid, so I decided to upload a video just to show you guys that I am awake and alive. So, uh, this video will be uploaded today, and our new, a new rule play episode will be uploaded. We did eventually have to leave Uncle Fred's house, which would be pretty messed up, but then there's another surprise at the end of this video that is going to be in our new role in the new roleplay because we did get this roleplay about yesterday we i mean ugh. we did get this we did get this new update about yesterday and i'm doing this video today because yesterday we were so excited we just didn't upload a video we just want to explore it for ourselves so i'm gonna let you know what it, everything that is in this update and i'm pretty sure there is a little bit more that i probably forgot but that's up to you guys to discover so here we have kind of oops oh man uh, probably was a bad idea that okay we have kind of a little bit of packages here now i'm calling them packages because they obviously look like packages and they are pretty much packages so we have the slime box thing that we'll get to later, which is one of the new parts of the update. It's pretty cool. There's also new biomes, but I obviously can't show you guys them unless I could do a quick fly around the world. So right now, let's go to this first one. Oh, I did want to mention something really cool. You know how in the role plays or in any one of my Minecraft videos, you had to break the you when you wanted to just get the item, you had to break the item frame with it or it wouldn't work. Well now, part of the update is, you break it, and the item frame stays. So it's kind of like computer Minecraft if you guys are too uncomfortable with playing differently. So, let's get to all these flowers. So one of the first flowers is the Blue Orchard. Now I'm just going to grab all these and go through them as we get in progress into this video. So first is, I think I have a patch over here, yep. First, I'm just going to lay all of these out. Uh, ba -da, ba -da. Oops. Ba -ba -da, ba -da. I most likely probably should have laid this out before I did this video, but you know. Uh, double tall grass. This can go like right there. Just falls right in a little large fern that can go right there. And the rose bush. Should put it right there and the peony right there. Okay. So here is all the flowers. Now I'm gonna eventually maybe I'm just gonna put this stuff back in the chest because I already laid all the flowers. And I might just need a reference. I'm sorry I'm messing with a little bit off of this video. Ugh, I did stay up really I did stay up really late last night. So um here we go. The first flower we have is the blue orchard now this is what it looks like it doesn't actually grow it just looks like that it's just for decoration stuff but i'm not sure if you can put that in a flower pot so let's quickly try this shall we uh blue orchard yep you can actually put i think that flower in the flower pot too so um you know that's pretty much what the first one is this one I told you guys i think it's a aluminum a um, Yep, a Liam. And that's just what that looks like. This is, ugh, what am I doing? That's an Assure Bluet. I never heard of that thing in my life. But here we go, this is the new stuff. The red tulip, orange tulip, white tulip, pink tulip, and a, man, I probably should have kept these in my hand, and a Oxy Daisy. Which is pretty good, especially if you want like a lot of decorations and have like maybe a garden. This is sunflower. Now it doesn't look like much now, but it will eventually look like a microphone in one of our role plays. Oh, ooh. this is the lilac, which is pretty big. It is, it's pretty nice, decent size, you know. 
all the usual stuff, but that's just good in garden or any or what have you. So, um, the rose bush is up next. This one is will actually not hurt you in survival mode, so we're just gonna quickly switch over to survival mode and get in this bush. It doesn't actually hurt you, yet it still looks pretty cool. So that's the rose bush. I personally, that's my favorite because it just looks good. This is the peony, I think it's called, and that it, it's these are just for decoration. Honestly, guys, I don't really need to go through all that. Those are poppies over there. You already know that. Oh yeah, and the roses were originally. I mean, the poppies were originally called roses, but now they're actually called poppies, which is pretty good. So, this is the large grass, and I didn't, I, I, I guess you guys actually saw maybe a sneaky peek of the large fern. I don't know if I can find it in the world right now. But, um, yeah, those things will spawn randomly in the world. They're just a nice touch in Minecraft. But if you actually hide in one of these taller bushes... The mobs can't see you. Anybody care to test it out? Mm. Let's put on normal. Okay. And how about we get? Let's just grab. Uh, how about? Let's just grab skeleton. Because why not? Uh, and then this, and then watch me now. So if you plop this right down there, and then. You quickly hide in one of these sneaky, sneaky bushes. They actually can't see you. At least that's what my brother was telling me. See? I'm hiding in the bush. They can't see me. But if I walk out, they actually see me. So I, once they see you, they, you can't really, they can't really unsee you. Unless you hide legit in the bush. Then they can't see you. It's pretty cool. So that's just one of the few add-ons. So, uh, yeah, he's still just sitting there like an idiot. All right, moving uh, on. Set day, peaceful. There we go. Okay, moving on. Let's go to the raw fish. Cause why not? Mm, this is all the new foods that are added in. In case you guys play PC Minecraft, so this is cooked rabbit, which you get by physically murdering rabbits. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I think I can find one in the world somewhere. Oh yeah, and the cooked mutton gets dropped by sheep. So let me just punch this sheep up into sensation right now. Hey, Mr. Shape, just, just go along with it. Just go along with it. And they actually will draw raw mutton now. Just to show you that it drops with every single sheep. Let me chop this one up too. Uh, uh, uh. I've never actually had mutton before in real life. So, yeah, see? It went from 2 to 3, which is a prime example. So you can actually cook those in a furnace and get cooked mutton. Now, I never actually had mutton in real life. I would like to try it one day. But yeah, that's pretty much what that is. Okay, now moving on to the next thing, raw rabbit. This is one of the honestly the coolest parts in this showcase today. Um, rabbits in Minecraft on PS3, because I know that on computer it was actually pretty different. And they were already there before, so the computer gets more updates earlier than us, but we still get happy when we get them. So, you can actually eat this, and you can get it by vigorously murdering it, which we can get to later in there. So, um, moving on again, we can get cooked salmon. Now, this and clownfish and pufferfish is, well, actually... The puffer fish isn't really rare because if you fish, you have to fish a lot in order to get a puffer fish. And also, one thing I forgot to mention is now, if you go fishing and you like toss the fishing rod into the water, check this out. Oh, we're on the edge of the world. Dang it. Oh boy. Here we go. Now, this is new this before. When you throw it in the water. It shows bubbles where the fish actually are, which is pretty cool. 
And then as they swim closer, if you see the bubbles come close to them, and then they, and then the little fishing rod dips down, you'll know that you collected a fish, which is a nice touch. I think added Mojang added to Minecraft, which is pretty dang good. So, uh, moving on. Ah, uh, that's just pretty much all the fish. Now, rabbit stew you craft from carrots. Uh, um, obviously some rabbit, rabbit, blah, 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 blah. cooked rabbit, I think, cooked or raw rabbit. Uh, and something else that I can't remember right now. But it actually is the most thing that takes up your hunger. The most. Look at this. This is the highest. It actually restores five of your health. So, it does cost a lot. Oh, you also need a bowl. It does cost a lot, but it's totally worth what you're getting for it. So, that's the rabbit stew. It takes up the most, and that is pretty much one of my favorite food items in this showcase. So, moving on, let's go to the blocks. Now, this, you guys might not think it's cool, but I definitely do. So, there's new things called red sand I'm just gonna grab all this, it'll be cool. The sorry for my mom's back. Let me show you. But um this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna line it up over here and ah uh, you get so much new stuff in this, it's so it's absolutely crazy. So um, and this is all the stuff. Okay, and now, now I can easily put this all back to the way it was. So, oh, I, I cleared it. You know what? Let's just get rid of all of it, because why not? You know, why not? Okay, um, so that's just going to be completely empty. But this is the cool stuff. So this is the red sand. It's, you can pretty tell, it's just red sand that you find in a different biome that I don't know how, that I can't find, because I'm not going to fly around the world. Not yet, at least. Um, this is the red sandstone. That's pretty self-explanatory, just a red. All these are a redder version of the original things. But the wither, that is different. And this is granite counters. You can have granite counters in Minecraft. It, all of these blocks don't actually have any uses yet, except... For the slime blocks because you can bounce on these and just to show you that I am not lying I'm gonna hop over here oh, it's packed ice a bunch of other stuff packed ice doesn't really make a difference it's just harder to break on survival mode sea limbs are another version of glowstone except you're that they're found underwater so we're gonna hop over this little slime box structure um this is normal this is normal stance right here this is normal jumping and you have to press X and it doesn't jump anymore well, when you hop onto the beautiful slime block, you can jump, 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 jump. And just to show you I'm not joking about this, look, I'll let it go, and it still bounces no matter what. So that I thought was pretty cool, and also something else that's pretty cool. If you fly on creative high enough into the air, and then just drop, and I, I think I had a boost there just drop you will bounce and I'm not even doing anything to the controller you bounce and it's just really awesome for trampolines you will also see that in the role plays as well and that is just pretty cool so we're gonna quickly hop off of this before we get too high in the air and move on to our next miscellaneous I think it's called I should say in the room so now we have all the spawn eggs all of the um, other things that we have and the first thing that's up is the rabbit. Now I should have put like a fence up or something, but this is pretty awesome. So if you put a rabbit here, these are what the rabbits will look like. You can get different kinds and different kinds, but then when you decide that you're getting a little bit hungry, you can actually, they're pretty fast, so they're hard to collect, but you saw that I have raw rabbit and rabbit hide, which we will also get to later. So, the raw rabbit you can just cook down in the furnace to get cooked rabbit, which I probably should have showed in the mod show. I mean, in the show case. Uh, that's all one of the many things that are in this showcase. Um, and I will get to more of the awesome stuff in that blue 
lapis place over there. But I just thought that new blocks and all that would be cool. So now we have the Endermites, which are pretty messed up because we're in peaceful mode, and the Guardians. So let's actually go over here so we can just spawn the Guardian in as soon as I switch over quickly to easy. And now it's on easy, you can spawn these bad boys. So they're just they they're just baby Endermen. It, it's pretty amazing. They go pretty fast. But you know what's weird? Endermen will move away from them. Ah I don't know. But here's the guardians. These things are absolutely awesome. Cause if I quickly get over into survival mode, they will instantly shoot their little lasers at me, and then I will get hurt. And they'll keep doing this continuously until you get out of their water, which is pretty awesome as well. And they will keep continuing for a long, long distance until you're completely away from their water. And then they'll start back up if you get back into the water. So I thought that was pretty cool. Ow, ow, stop it, stop it, you know, stop it. Getting a little too carried away there, Guardians. The Ender Mites actually aren't afraid of water. So that is pretty cool. If you actually, if you actually, I'm just gonna do this real quick. So these are the spawn eggs, and I just thought those were pretty awesome as well. So we're gonna fly over to our little mountain because it's going on 15 minutes, and I don't think it should be that long for a mod showcase. I mean, oh, I keep saying mod because I tested out a new mod recently. <sighs> um. But the a new update. So here we go. Oh, and the reason why I have these heads in my inventory is because they changed from what happened last time. As you can see, they're pretty much bigger than they were before. So now this is personally one of my favorites: the water breathing and the potion of leaping. So I'm gonna get on survival real quick, and we're gonna need to find a different body of water because that one's taken over by. <sighs> Guardians and all that. So let's go over to this body of water. This should be fine. Oh, the sea squid still. I didn't know that. Ah, water breathing. You drink this up, and now when I go into water, I will have a longer breathing period. As you can see, it's not going down as fast as it normally would in a Minecraft world. And that, I just thought, was pretty epic. Like, you just can breathe pretty much ah, I'm trying to think of the word now you can see deflector zero that's my brother but um I'm trying to think of the word um I guess instantly yeah you can just breathe underwater and not have to worry about it so here's the potion of leaping this is my normal jumping stance during the potion of leaping I just think all this stuff is so cool you jump actually two blocks in the air. So pretty much rabbit speed. Rabbit jumping. Because they blo jump two blocks in a slab. I think. I'm pretty sure. So you jump and you can just jump and have so much fun with this. So you just cannonball over here. Cannonball over here. The guardians are going to come after me, aren't they? Just jump like a little bunny rabbit in Minecraft. Unfortunately, there's not a new skin pack. Well, I don't know, but um, this is the most epic thing I ever seen. So, yeah, pretty much that's awesome. So now we can just put these back in, and we can get to the other stuff that I was eventually gonna get to later. So here's all the heads. There we go. Okay, so these you guys might not be too fond of, but the heads. And just, I got these because they look so cool when you hold them. They look so much more different than when you did before. And this video is going on 20 minutes long. How is, never mind. Whatever. But, um, all this just looks so much different. And your head does not actually pop out as much anymore. But you, they still pop out. And that goes for all of them, which is pretty epic. Now, this is the, um, a luck of the sea, I think it's called. Like a luck of the sea, and you can enchant your weapons with this and jump under the water, and you can actually walk underwater just like you would walk normally on land. See, 
As you be, you're walking like this underwater. Can you just think of it? Walking normally underwater. But that's if you enchant your suit or your bow or your sword or what what have you. <sighs> okay, and I died. Okay. Okay, you know what guys? Um, I really didn't locate where we are on the map. Ugh. Oh, why did I, why do I do this to myself? Why, 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 why do I do this to myself? Oh, I think it's just over here, actually. Uh, there we go, it's right over here, right where my spawn point is. All these things are actually pretty dangerous. So those are the enchanted books that are new. And now what you guys have all been waiting for, the new room. Dun 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 dun! You open this door, we have armor stands. We have armor stands. And now, you can place buttons on the ceiling, buttons on the floor, buttons like this, so it can be your mouse. And we actually are going to use this in our roleplay. I don't know which episode that's going to be new, but that, I just thought, was pretty awesome. And now, let me just switch over to creative. And these actually do work, but look at this. You can, you, I think you can see the armor stand name right there. Yeah, you guys definitely can. It says armor stand, but it's not actually there. On every other texture pack that I was on, it's there. But if you collect it, you you won't be able to see it. It's kind of weird. So, and then, but you can just place it just like anything normal. It's pretty awesome. So now I'm going to grab... All the good armor, like diamond and iron. I'm just gonna place it randomly on these awesome, awesome new armor stands. I think the armor stands and the slime blocks have to be my favorite part of this update. They just look so good and they will help you out definitely in your Minecraft world. Now, let me show you some crafting recipes before I leave you guys to do this yourself let me show you guys the crafting recipes now I'm gonna grab a crafting table and some of these things you cannot craft by the way so let's just see armor stands you craft using one two three four five six six sticks I think yep I've got three at the top one two, three. uh yep definitely six and then you need a stone slab which I thought was pretty Random, and if you can hear like my dog chewing and stuff, that is her. And you just need one stone slab so it'll have the little bottom piece of holding it up. So I'm gonna get put this in a crafting table. Emily, stop, please stop. I'm gonna put this in the crafting table to show you this works. So you craft it using like uh, this, then you go like that, like that, and like that, and then you can put the stone slab. Now this actually looks like it's not crafting anything, but if you walk over here, you can see that it crafted the armor stand. Now I gotta figure out where it went. Oh no. Oh no 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 I didn't lose it did I? Uh, so annoying. Uh, I think I crafted it right? Yeah oh it dropped. It, it dropped. Oh yeah and if you throw this on the ground you can see the black spot so you know that that's where you put it last so there you go guys that is a pretty much this awesome awesome new update that we got and soon we might be getting quivers might be getting like the new left hand right th hand thing they have on the computer all that good stuff, but that is for later update videos. So thank you so much for watching, and please, if you did like this video, please do hit up with a like in the description yeah. at the bottom of the page below, and subscribe for more videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.